Morning, zero pence here. And I'm sitting in my front room today, wondering what I can do with some bits of old leather, some paracord, and some glue. Um, last night I was watching some videos on YouTube, and one of the people I watch is my mate Matt Tightwad, and uh, he made a little pouch for a lighter. And it, and um, I also have one of Max pouches. He gave it to me last year for my lighter and um, my little necker and everything. This is like freeway pouch, but this little single one to uh, hang around your neck is very handy. And uh, I thought I'd show you how to make this one. If you can find a bit of old leather or a bit, a bit of uh, your wife's old handbag, uh, it's just a piece of old scrap. As you can see, it's got a piece where a strap that's glued to it or something. But that doesn't matter, let's go inside and it will make quite a nice little pouch I think after I've uh, messed about with it, rubbed it down, glued it, punched it. And that's all you need is a pair of scissors and because this leather is not that thick. And if it is thicker leather that you're using then by all means use a craft knife. But at the moment I don't need to. Just one of the other little bits of kit you need is a ruler, just a straight edge. Mark your line, cut it with your scissors until you've got an appropriate shape, which is this. I've just cut the top because I'm going to punch two holes in that for where it hangs around your neck. And that basically is what we start with. Now here's my bit of scrap leather, all cut and shaped and ready to fold and glue. And gluing is very important when you're doing leather work do you have the right glue this is you who contact adhesive and it works really well it doesn't stain the leather and uh, it looks good after it's finished it's trying to hold that together and, and sew it or punch it will be a nightmare so glue now the contact adhesive is dry and uh, pushed it together and worked it with my fingers until it's done and there is the finished article we're waiting punching and this glue takes seconds to actually cure just once it's dry to the touch just fold it over push it together and it won't come undone and then you have the holes to punch and once you've done that it's basically all up all downhill from there now i've marked out the holes with punch points and then i'm going to punch the holes the spacing's correct and now it's a bunch of holes. Here we have the finished pouch. It's been stitched with leather. Hold it over and holes punched in the top. Shaped ready for paracol but first what we're going to do is just damp this take a lighter place it inside squeeze it push it and uh, give it some shape and after that we be done it's amazing what just a, a little damping with a sponge will do to this lever makes it very very pliable and also tightens up the stitching because there's raw leather so and I'll add a little bit of oil needs for oil to this afterwards because I've got it so I'll use it but as you can see it's all done I'm ready to hang around your neck now I've got hold of Paracord lanyard with these pull toggles 
on the end which I'm going to fit to this so it hangs around my neck and round about the end of I don't know end of my sternum so that should be okay the other parts and we'll see what it looks like when I finished it well here it is the finished little pouch with the lighter in it leather stitching all done holes all punched and lanyard fitted with one of those little safety pawn mechanisms and basically the only reason that I've fixed that is because I've got one but I would for me the way that David Fryers wears his which is, is makes it adjustable it's a really nice knot but while I was doing this I've been doing another one that it has got that knot on it and if I can get that there but I was just practicing with different bits of paracord and bank line and all sorts of stuff today and as you can see it has got the adjustable two knots on it so that you adjust around your neck which does rather well so I've made one for me and one for my son uh, but I doubt if I use this very much I may pass this on because I've already got a Mac Kitewood one <laughs> which I wear all the time because it's got my um, uh, MTFU badge on it as well so and that's got three compartments this is just something that I thought if you can't do the solar uppering like Mac does um, maybe you could make one of these out of a bit of old handbag or something and a pair of scissors and a uh, hole punch this is just an alternative to sewing basically it's still I know it's this is more like weaving than sewing and how you do that is that you you just stitch it around but the ends are pulled in if I can get out there you can see that there is the piece of leather touching it goes down four turns and on the back it goes down four turns And then it's boxed by just moistening don't stick it in a bowl of water just get a, one of your washing up sponges and just wring it right out and just wet it with it and that makes everything tighten up and but first it makes everything go slack so that's a nice way of stretching it around the lighter like so that's all you do and then it fits that's box that's what they call boxing that's or blocking boxing or blocking depending on what part of the country you are i think <laughs> so there 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 they are the two even if you haven't got the lever you can find a piece of bank line or something like that and do it with that the thicker type of it and that is very strong as well so Two pouches made in a couple of minutes really it's just messing about today uh, while I was doing one I was doing the other it's a good way if you if you are a leather worker and you've got little little bits of scrap you can make some nice little pouches for a lighter to hang around your neck or if you're a sour upper you can use Maxway So zero pence. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.